At the risk of sounding presumptuous, I would say to all of you, be patient and have courage, for there will be better and happier news one day if we work at it. A few months before broadcaster Chet Huntley left his post at NBC's The Huntley Brinkley Report, a Gallatin County Tribune article let slip his retirement plans. He's saying goodnight to David for the last time on their evening newscast, returning to his native Montana to build a resort. And How much of what Big Sky is today is due to Chet Huntley's original notion? Well, really the whole the whole resort, um, the, everything that we've seen here is, was started with Chet Huntley. A hundred percent of it is due to Huntley's idea. However, uh, it's 400 percent of Huntley's original idea. Huntley's Big Sky of Montana called for a small meadow village looking up to a hip alpine mountain villa at the base of Lone Peak. A triple chair, double chairs, and a new Heron Palma gondola. In the decades since, the resort has grown to include 16 lifts, drops over 4,000 vertical feet, and partnering with Moonline Basin boasts the most skiable acres in the country. That small meadow village has grown into a real community with its own school district, bus system, softball league, all of it together. It's the biggest economic driver in Gallatin County by far. It dwarfs Montana State University. But Huntley would never see the full effects of his idea. The NBC anchor died of lung cancer two days before the resort's grand opening in 1974. He was 62 years old. County Commissioner Bill Murdoch says what now lies up the Gallatin Canyon has moved away from Huntley's intent to remain harmonious with the environment and Montana's wilderness values. I think Huntley would, Chet Huntley would turn over in his grave if he saw the scope and the scale of what we know as the Big Sky area today. Big Sky's Dax Schieffer disagrees. And I think Chet would be pretty happy. You know, there'd be things that he would be surprised that, that he's seen, but uh, I think the size, you know, it was all built to be scalable and uh, he got it started, and he got the sort of train out of the station, but uh, you know, since then, uh, you know, there's been growth, and uh, I, think, I think he would like what he saw. Debate over how the vision unfolded continues, yet the results are here, in skis, in snow, and in stone. Due to a man who decided 40 years ago to step away from his day job and try a new project. From Big Sky, I'm Dan Boyce for Montana's News Station.